talking about, talking about, talking about. Hi, I'm JC Alvarez. And I'm John Griffith. Welcome to Talking About. And if you're just tuning in, we're really, really excited tonight because if you're on another network, we actually stole one of their stars this evening. <laughs> uh, from the CW hit show, we have John Wesley Ship with us. Welcome. So Thank glad you. to have you. Thanks, John. It's good to be here. And that CW show is The Flash. <laughs> if you don't recognize this man, <laughs> there he is. I mean, welcome to the show. Thanks yeah. so much for having us. It's, it's my pleasure. My pleasure to be here. So 25 years ago, Lightning. Thanks. <laughs> lightning struck. <laughs> 25 years ago, lightning strikes on CBS. And it's sort of like, you know, you, you, like thunder. You have this, this primetime hit called The Flash, which, you know, as legend says it, you knew very little about this superhero character when you took the role of, of Barry Allen. Yeah, yeah. When they said something about playing The Flash, I said, you mean Flash Gordon? And they went... <laughs> No, the Flash. So now I, of course, I act highly insulted when anyone says that to me. I got to know the Flash, but I didn't. I didn't know anything uh, about uh, about the character, and I was a little concerned in 1990 about playing a superhero uh, lead because it wasn't what it is now. You know, I look at uh, Grant Gustin, who plays Barry Allen now, and how comfortable he is in his suit. I mean, he'll act, he'll talk. He, you know, I didn't want to talk when I was in the suit. because well, it, was it was a very different suit back then. I think we do have an image of, of the original costume. Uh, <laughs> it's like, ah! We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. yeah. Which was uh, pure latex? Or? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was about uh, $100,000 to build four suits. It was a lot of foam latex and flocked with a red material and then sprayed with a sealant because I'd have it on for 15 minutes and I'd just be sweating through it totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny because, I mean, it's a, of course, John and I are huge fanboys, and, mm. and uh, we can relate to the fact that, you know, that, that show was coming on the heels of the success of Tim Burton's Batman. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so much of the success from, from that movie uh, really came off on your show, and it really, you know, made, brought this universe to life. Uh, a lot of people would say that the show was really ahead of its time. Now that you're back on sort of like the contemporary version of The Flash, uh, do you sort of like look with fondness at your show and, and, and see like, you know, wow, you know, we, we started this legacy and now we're continuing it. Do you, do you re regard it like that? What amazes me is the way people respond to it now and they respond to it in the way that, that you're speaking. You know, when I, when they call me the OG Flash, I'm like, <laughs> what? what? What are you talking about? But it was a very different world back then. You know, it was, we were at the dawn of a new way of telling these stories for television. You know, looking at the darker aspects, the more adult side of the characters, the real human element, which, uh, you know, when I expressed some concern about running around in a red rubber suit, <laughs> you know, they said, no, uh, you know, I've been on Broadway. I had uh, pretensions of being a serious actor, <laughs> delusions, some might say. Well, you're an Emmy winning. You're actually a two-time Emmy winning actor. Guilty. <laughs> yes. Of course, because you have, be, be, you know, as part of your career, you also had a great career in soaps. So, yeah, you know, soaps, soaps and theater before I yeah. came out to do The Flash. Yeah. And so all that led up to, you know, the streets of Central mm -hmm. City. Yes, <laughs> yes, but it was very different in those days because we were, we were, some have said we were a CSI show before CSI shows came on. And, of course, in those days, uh, comic books hadn't hit the mainstream in quite the way that they are now where 180,000 people take over San Diego during San Diego Comic-Con. That was not my experience <laughs> when I went the first time, you know. Yeah, what was it like for you when, when you went to uh, San Diego Comic-Con? Well, they said, you know, there's this, there's this convention. We should probably go down there. Danny uh, Bilson, Paul DeMeo, and I went down on a Saturday morning. I signed a half dozen autographs, spent a, several hours there, and left. And then we went back and premiered our pilot in Hall H in front of 7,000 people in 2014. <laughs> and I remember Jesse L. Martin going, I mean, the, it was just a completely different experience. And we were being bathed in so much love. He mm. said, we haven't even been on the air yet. You know, but the audience, where we had to sort of uh, chisel and hammer for our audience, the audience now is inviting this new show in right. with such warmth and such a sense of being mainstream. And as I said again, I really tell the difference in the way Grant deals with the suit versus mm -hmm. how I was shy about it. I didn't, I never wanted to say dialogue in the suit. I wanted it to be, because I was concerned, you know, uh, from the way comic books had been treated up to that point. Mm. Yeah, so. it was a very... Uh 
camp prior <laughs> yeah, to that. Yeah, and I just, not that I, I was a big fan of, of the Batman TV series. I just, I knew I wouldn't be good at that. Mm. I just, that's not my sense or sensibility. So, um, Spe yeah. Speaking yeah. of camp, uh, one of the greatest highlights of your show was when Mark Hamill, who we all know from Star Wars, um, he created Luke Skywalker. That, that role of Luke Skywalker is so identifiable with Mark. Uh, but he created another really great role on, on your Flash. He right. portrayed the Which, trickster. Right, there's an image of that also. Yeah, which we have an image of, of, of the two of you on set. Um, and he, he sort of like was like the, the rogue that came back on your show a lot. And, and, uh, and, and now he actually came on to the new show as well. Yeah. It must have been really like, you know, surreal to have the, that happen, you know, kind of like. Well, it was completely unexpected. <laughs> it's like when Mark and I were going back to the hotel, you know, we were talking about how often do you have an opportunity to come back and revisit a project mm -hmm. 25 mm -hmm. years later and hand it off to the next generation and also be asked to play multi-dimensional characters which are really contributing in the present, not just going by and saying, oh, there's a guy that used to wear the suit, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, if ever there was a, a villain that should recur, it's Mark. If you have a chance to have Mark Hamill on your show, <laughs> you write for him. You well, know. if there Mark is, is listening, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we would, we would love to have, have him on. Um, the show's now coming into its third season, but the second season DVD is out. And this season, I mean, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, if, if, if our audience has not seen the second season, it's going to be really hard to not spoil something that happened that was incredible. Uh, you, if, if you, you know, I know you right. want to ask John about a couple of things about season two going into the. Yeah, well, I mean, it, you had uh, quite the character arc this year. <laughs> I did. This past right year. At the end, yes. And yes. I know it was a whirlwind, wasn't it? Yeah. I got out of prison finally and said, "See ya, I'm leaving <laughs> town." And then I came back once when uh, when Barry broke his back and needed me, and I felt like I wasn't in the way. Uh, and, and, and that then, was interesting. That actually, excuse me for interrupting me, but, but that was also really interesting how when they brought you back into The Flash, um, I mean, they could have done anything. You know, they, they had a classic character, you know, a classic actor right. to connect with on the new show. And, you know, you could have played any kind of like, you know, legacy character. They made you Henry Allen. Yeah. Hmm. Well, when I'd heard about the new treatment of the Allen family and how it people said, was it did you feel like you were doing a rerun of what you'd already done? And I said, no, because the Allen family, Jeff John's recreation of that whole story about the father being wrongfully convicted of uh, killing his wife in front of his 10-year-old son, it was a completely new character. And because it was so different from what I had done, I thought at the beginning before anyone called me that if they came to me, that's the role I would want. Everyone mm -hmm. said, oh, Jay Garrick, you have to be Jay Garrick, Golden Age Flash. And I was like, well... I don't know if I want to go into another suit <laughs> right away, you know, it's a, or at all.